Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite developer, and today is a special occasion. So special, in fact, that I'm busting out the Holiday Bomber. This is my special blend of eggnog and rum, so you know it's going to be a good one. Delicious. So there's that old saying that you can't move forward if you're always looking backwards. Well, I believe that sometimes the only way to move forward is if you're willing to take a step back. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video today. We're going to be going back and looking at my very first web developer portfolio that I made. The only one that I've made. The one that is still currently my portfolio. And we're going to look at things that I could do better, things that I could improve on, and just take a look at it as a whole and enjoy the journey. Before we jump into that, I want to give a big thank you to all the new subscribers we've gained in the last few weeks. We've grown tremendously and actually outpaced my... Uh, my first year projection for the YouTube channel. So big thank you to everybody who subscribed. I appreciate it. And uh, the content will keep coming. So y'all better keep watching. And one thing before we jump in, there's a dog. <laughs> so did you guys hear that dog? Funny story. Um, I have my gaming computer in here. As I'm waiting to log into Final Fantasy 14, I got disconnected after leaving it on all weekend. And it's really hot in here, so I have to open the window. So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to close the window and just be hot for a bit. All right, hopefully you guys can't hear that dog anymore. And before I give you guys the tour of my old portfolio, I just wanna let you know that in the long term, my YouTube actually ended up being <laughs> my real portfolio. So take everything with a grain of salt. And here it is guys, this is it. This is my first ever portfolio. When I first made this, I was super hyped on it. I mean, <laughs> you guys can go back and watch my uh, monthly progression videos. I was super hot about this. I thought it was the best thing ever. I thought it was the shit, quite literally. So let's take a look at it here. Starts off, nice big old picture of me. Some people say it's not good to put a picture of yourself on your portfolio because, you know, people can uh, profile you and make assumptions about you based off of your image. But uh, I say, <laughs> who cares when you have a YouTube channel, right? Like, I'm, I'm already out there. There's no going back from that. And yes, I do plaster my YouTube channel on everything. My resumes, my LinkedIn, my portfolio. <laughs> so I, I don't think that rule applies to me, but we'll keep going. So you got some pink so it stands out. It contrast, right? I picked a uh, pretty, pretty basic color scheme, simple to work with. And when we click on the learn more button, this is great. You guys ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a smooth transition downward. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. All right, what do we have here? So we have, who is Michael? <laughs> this about me section is so barren. I didn't have anything. I didn't know what to put here. So we'll take a look. It says, uh, I'm all about simple design and simple solutions. I'm still all about simple, but uh, there's definitely better ways to word that. Let's read this here. Oh. Oh, I just disconnected from the Final Fantasy queue. One second, guys. I got a requeue in uh, Final Fantasy. All right, back in queue in Final Fantasy. As a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, I've learned to use collaboration, cooperation, and my own personal development as tools to ensure success. Thanks to my background in administrative logistics works, <laughs> I have a unique perspective to the overall scope when approaching projects. If we can think it, we can build it. So yeah, the about me is pretty generic. Uh, I didn't have a lot of coding experience. I really didn't know what to put there. Honestly, I had no idea. Thinking back on it now, I would just kind of put in where I've worked and the work that I've done so far and probably clean up the summary. I mean, there, there's the idea behind the summary is good. Some of the stuff I like, but I'd have to reword it and shorten it. The who is Michael doesn't need to be very long. Like just the work that I've done and like a short summary about myself and I always want to tie in my military experience. So I'd probably throw that in there too. And then we have these JavaScript bars here. So when I was making my portfolio, I wanted to make it like a, um, like a video game, like a character's like stat screen on a video game, you know, where you see the character, their name, their stats and everything, their skills, their abilities. If you haven't noticed, that's why the controller is down here, but that's the theme I was going for. I'm about to scoot this over so you can see that side, huh? There we go. So that's the theme I was going for with these. I wanted it to be like the skills and my stat bar. I think they're a little big. <laughs> they could have been a lot smaller. They didn't need to be a 50% uh, of the page, it, but I really didn't know what I was doing, so it's okay. And then down here we have links to my Twitter, my GitHub, and my YouTube. I'll probably still keep those on my portfolio. 
I don't know if that's good for everybody to do. I really incorporate my YouTube into like everything I do. So I think I'm gonna keep it there. I think it's a big part, you know, my, my social presence out there in the internet, but it's definitely not something that everybody needs. Okay, down here, the tools controller. <laughs> All right, I hacked this thing together. It was real hard to make. I was so proud of it. I was trying to make a uh, an NES, a Nintendo, like the original Nintendo controller. It's like blocky like that. That's what I was going for with that. And, eh, <laughs> it could be better. You know, you use the controller to like move the character and you know, level up and play the game. So I wanted like the tools to be what builds the skill set. I just hit my mic. Could have been executed better for sure. And then down here we have my projects taking up half the screen. <laughs> so right now the big glaring thing in my portfolio is the type of projects that I have and this disgusting nab that appears up here. Look at this. Oh my God. How did I get hired with this? It's so bad. <laughs> I mean, look at that nab. Just look at this thing. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's transparent. I don't even think everything's centered up there. Like look at the space up here next to the about. <laughs> it's not even centered in there. Horrible. So that's the first glaring issue that I see. And after that, it's just the spacing of everything. Like the projects don't need to be this big or take up this much space. Uh, it's cool to give a little preview right here. When I redo my portfolio, the preview is gonna be something that I keep for sure. I really do like the preview there. And I like the about section right next to it. Definitely something I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna have to tweak how it looks, what it says. Like right now, it just says what the project is and then like a quick summary about it and then what I put in there. I think there's so much more you could add. I need to tell a story. Like I want everything in my portfolio to tell a story. And now that I have real life projects, you know, real websites that are currently live and in production made, I'm gonna swap all of these out for those. I only have two like full sites that I've made ready right now. But I think those two sites will be better than all three of these practice sites that I have on there. But I think for starting, your best projects are what should go on your portfolio. At the time, these were my best projects. I really did like every single one of them. Every time I made one of these, I thought I was hot shit. I thought I was hotter and hotter. And I thought I was getting better and better. And now looking back, they're pretty bad. <laughs> they're like really bad. But I guess that shows that you're growing, right? If you can look back at your old work and acknowledge the progress that you've made, then you've grown. <laughs> and I've definitely made progress since here, man. Like a ridiculous amount of progress since here. But that's it for my portfolio. That's it. It's simple. It's concise. I didn't have a lot to offer at the time, but you know, I liked what I had. Uh, if you guys are curious about these projects, this was my Camo to Code website. I'm still working on this. It's, it's one of those projects that's a forever work in progress. It's going to be a cool tool that helps out veterans and anybody else approach learning things with a veteran mindset and some other stuff. I don't want to spoil too much of what it's going to be, but... It's definitely not going to be what it is now. It's almost completely rehauled <laughs> on the design I drew up for it. This one was a carpet cleaning business landing page. It's okay. At the time, I thought it was like the best thing I've ever made, but now I can make something so much better. And this last one was like my first full stack project. Some of you knuckleheads went in there and <laughs> uploaded some uh, pretty ridiculous stuff in there, but it's okay. It's to have fun. I'm going to take it off my portfolio anyways. But yeah, that's it for my portfolio. As you guys can see, it was pretty bare. Uh, it didn't have a lot of content. And now looking back in hindsight, knowing what I know now, there's no way <laughs> that anybody was going to hire me with that portfolio, like off that alone. And at the time I thought it was really good, but it's not. <laughs> That's why I always encourage everyone to do something off the beaten path, right? If all you do to try to get your first job is learn the basics, make a portfolio and throw out applications, it's gonna be so much harder for you to stand out from everybody else because that's what like 99% of the people out there are doing. They're doing that exact same thing. That's why I hate those roadmaps that you see on Twitter. I don't, I don't like anybody that just teaches this straight and narrow path like it's the only way because honestly, it's, <laughs> it's not. It's so much harder than if you just like embrace yourself, make content, be creative, do something else. Like go off the beaten path, find another way to express yourself what you've learned and what you continue to learn right that's what this channel is all about that's why i think this youtube channel is a million times better as a portfolio than my actual <laughs> portfolio because i think my portfolio is trash looking back on it now it's not very good not at all and that gave me a great idea for another video 
I'm going to go back. I'm going to update my portfolio. Now, what I have there, I see it as like completely unusable. <laughs> like, If I make a new portfolio, I'm just not even going to use that. It's I honestly think it's trash. Like I, I can't use it. The color scheme's nice. I like the color scheme, but that's it. No, that's a lie. I like the concept too. So the two things I'd keep for my next portfolio are going to be the concept, the whole video game thing, and then the color scheme, maybe. But I'm going to change how it's executed, change how it looks, and that's going to be a work in progress. That video is going to have to be something I push out next year because I'm pretty much locked in on my goals for the year and Final Fantasy 14 just came out. So <laughs> I don't see myself spending too much time on my portfolio from now until the new year. It's been a good year, by the way. I accomplished a lot of goals this year. But I'll definitely have a part two out for that where I go and update my portfolio and change everything and give you guys some insight as to why I did everything and made it the way I did. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at my portfolio. The guys in my Discord have some amazing portfolios like i have portfolio envy from some of theirs in my discord they look good they're responsive they feel good they have really cool concepts i'm not going to spoil anything but if you guys are interested in seeing those portfolios or chatting with the community feel free to join my discord we're almost 400 strong now a lot of developers aspiring developers alike in there helping each other learn new things and grow so if that's something you guys are interested in do join again that's down below and let's see here it looks like i'm 4,500 in my Final Fantasy queue, so <laughs> I'm not going to be on for a couple hours. Gives me time to edit the video and everything and get that out. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here and give a big shout out to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're liking the content, do subscribe, like the video. It really helps the channel out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.